Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to turn the closed captioning on on Zoom. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I just go to my desktop app and then I go to my settings. This screen will pop up and you just want to go down to accessibility and make sure scroll kind of far down. So you want to go right down here and make sure that these two are checked. So closed captioning is available and closed captioning typing privileges granting or revoked are turned on. So you can do that directly in the desktop app. The next thing you have to do is actually log in online. So go to zoom.us and log in. And then you, once you click under your settings, you want to go under in meeting advanced. And then if you scroll down, it's pretty far down there, but it says closed captioning. And you want to make sure that these are turned on. So a live transcription services and then allow viewing of the full transcript. The other one that you want to make sure is turned on. Um, well, really, this is your choice, but you can either allow participants to save the closed captions or the transcripts or not. So make sure um, all of this is turned on and then you should be good to go. Let me take you to an actual meeting and show you what this looks like in real time. OK, so now we're actually in a meeting and what you can see on the bottom is my live transcript and closed captioning option is right here. So if I click on it as the host, I need to be able to enable auto transcription. But let me show you what it looks like if I forget to do that before a meeting and someone else in the meeting would like for me to turn on my closed caption. So as you can see, someone else has asked me to turn it on and I can just simply select enable. They can also choose to do this anonymously if they don't want anyone to know who's asking. Um, so I'm going to select enable. OK, so now, as you can see, my closed caption is turning has turned on and you can actually move it anywhere that you like it. I actually prefer to put it directly underneath my camera so that while I'm reading the closed caption, I can it actually looks like I'm paying attention and looking at the screen. So that's my preference. Um, but you can also turn it off. So if I'm the person who needs closed captioning, then I can turn it on. But other people can simply turn it off for themselves. And they just click on this icon and choose hide subtitles and it goes away. If I want to turn it back on, I can say show subtitles and it will turn it back on. This is also great if someone is on their phone or doing something else and they want to you know, stay a part of the meeting, but for whatever reason, um, they need to have closed caption on other than hearing challenges. The last thing that I want to show you is actually if you go under the subtitle settings, then you can decrease the size of your font or make it larger. So whatever is your preference all right here, super easy. I will say that I think it's really important that we think about accessibility for everyone. You never know what someone else is going through on the other end of the camera. So enabling live transcription and closed caption for attendees is really critical so that we are making meetings accessible for everyone. Thanks everyone. Have a great day and I will see you back here on my channel.